Hey guys, so we're going to be making some overnight oats today. I'm just going to be using my 12 ounce mason jars. We're going to add a third cup of these one minute oats to each jar. So now I'm going to add to that um, some of my cinnamon sugar blend. This is uh, by McCormick's and I'm going to add one teaspoon to each jar. To this, I'm going to add my protein shake. I'm using pure protein. You can use any protein shake. I've used Premier protein as well. And I'm using vanilla flavor. So I'm going to put in a third cup of the protein shake in each one. And you can use almond milk or regular milk, whatever you want to, but I'm using the protein shake. All right, so I'm gonna mix that in a little bit in each jar. It just helps all the oats absorb some of the liquid when you mix it in some. I like my oats pretty thick guys so if you don't like your oats really thick um, you can add more liquid to it but I like my oats thick so I don't add but a third cup to the um, I equal parts for the oats and the liquid okay so I'm just gonna sit these to the side because I'm gonna do my um, yogurt mixture And I'm just going to put roughly a cup or so of, of uh, just plain non-fat non Greek yogurt into a bowl. And I just eyeball it. And you can use any kind of yogurt, guys. I'm using the Fahe, but you can use any kind. So I'm going to add to this um, my sugar-free jello pudding mix. And I'm using che cheesecake flavor for these oats. I've done it with banana cream flavor. I've done it with um, vanilla. And I think I did butterscotch before too. So you can pretty much use any flavor you want for the oats that you're going to be making but since I'm doing the cherries with this one I'm going to use cheesecake flavor and I just have a little left in this packet so I'm probably going to use all of this but if you're making this you see I use about a teaspoon per um, jar 
a teaspoon per serving that I'm putting into the jar. So I'll usually do about a cup of the yogurt with um, three teaspoons of the sugar-free pudding mix. This is probably gonna be about two teaspoons in this one because there was just a little bit left in that packet. And all I'm doing is just mixing it into the yogurt and then we're gonna put equal amounts into each of the jars. All right, so I'm just gonna set the jars back here so you can see. And now I'm just going to put in the um, yogurt mixture. I'm just going to press it down some in there. All right, so on top of this, I'm going to add my fruit. And I am going to be using some dark sweet cherries. And I'm putting in roughly about a half cup of the cherries. I'm just going to use up what I have though. And there you go guys. This is how I set them up to go into the fridge. I'm just going to put my, tops, my lids on top of it. And I'll put these in the fridge overnight. And then I'll grab one in the morning. I let mine sit out a while because I don't like to eat them cold out the fridge. But um, you can eat them right out the fridge or you can let them sit out for a little bit or you can warm them up a little bit. So there you go, guys. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you try it out. It is a very yummy breakfast. I have them for breakfast and I love them. Um, but I hope you try it out and I hope you like it. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Alrighty, have a great day. Bye.